on the trip. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get any more of these. <laughs> and, and in Mexican currency, would be a one and a half point win, so I'll take that. Um, is this just a collective thing that no matter who is there, because all you've been through, and everyone has played almost every role on this team, that they just find a way? Uh, this is what you hope uh, are that your experiences, uh, you know, during a long NBA season, harden you and and steal you and and help you develop some some grit. And uh, you know, the the start of this trip, uh, we've had uh, three very competitive games. I've gone all the way down to to uh, the final few possessions, and different circumstances each game, different guys in or out. Um, but you know, I commend the guys for not making excuses uh, at all uh, for any of it, um, and we're just trying to get more consistent to our identity. We understand what our roadmap is for success. Uh, we just have to get to that uh, more often. Um, and uh, it's been inspiring on this road trip to see different guys step up. Uh, you know, tonight, uh, Orlando really just coming in off off the airplane. <laughs> you know, and. Uh, and playing 36 minutes, basically, um, and gave us a, a great presence uh, under the rim uh, on both sides. Uh, he was guarding the basket and going vertical and, and making them uh, take some tough shots. I thought he rebounded well in traffic. Uh, uh, and he gave us a presence uh, offensively with his screening. Um, UD uh, just gave us that tenacity uh, and that toughness uh, just from the very get-go. Everybody understood how. Uh, important this game was for us, uh, and I think UD had a large part uh, in that, um, just with his intensity uh, that was almost spilling over the edge. Um, but it's inspiring, you know, when you're, when you're uh, witnessing it. Uh, and then obviously Tyler was uh, fantastic again with his shot making and just got into such a great rhythm. Guys were setting great screens for him, uh, and he was stepping up uh, into open shots, lining them up. and. Uh, and that just really allowed us to create a bunch of separation through the first uh, three quarters. Tyler, last night, 17 three-point attempts, 15 three-point attempts tonight. Is that just what defense is giving him, or is that something you guys are trying to uh, push him to take more of those? Both shots? are correct. Uh, the last uh, couple games, uh, that's been really the the scheme uh, against him, and that, that's been open. Uh, but. Regardless, he's too good of a shooter for us, um, for him to, to not hunt out open threes off the catch. Now, tonight he had a few off the dribble, uh, but last night he had more of them off the catch. Uh, and I think when we're fully healthy, uh, he has to continue uh, to be assertive in, in those opportunities. Um, and he's, a, he's a, just a brilliant shooter. He can do it. Uh, off the dribble and off the catch. Uh, and that, that type of versatility is going to be important for us uh, going forward uh, when we do get our, our full health back. Jimmy uh, coming in and uh, across the board. I know there might have some glitches late, but just, I mean, he filled all the columns. He helped settle you a little also. His presence did yeah. tonight. Yeah, uh, that's the way I would describe it. He settles you, uh, it's especially uh, when the, the game can get a little bit uh, fast or um, a little bit more in their favor. There's a comfort level uh, with all of our guys, uh, and in particular the young guys. Like when you have these moving parts, it's always great to have a pillar uh, where you can go to, uh, where you know he's going to make the right decisions, where the game can slow down a little bit, where he can set things up and manipulate the defense to be able to get the right shot for us. Uh, and that's what he did throughout the course of the game. And then, you know, obviously he just continues to be. You know, one of the very best two-way players in this association, taking on the challenge the entire night of how ma how many of our minutes he played. It was either on Green or Porter, uh, the entire way, uh, and you know he has the endurance and toughness and savviness to be able to do it because both those guys are are, are really clever. You know, for young guys and. Uh, that it's it's uh, extremely helpful to have somebody with the vet veteran experience like Jimmy, and also the willingness to take on that challenge, um, which was really important.
You don't score in the last five minutes. You have to win it on defense, and you have to win it on defense without some of your best defenders. Bam's not playing. Caleb got hurt. He had to come out. Why does it say that whoever you threw it out on the floor, you found a way without scoring to win the game on that end? Well, what, what, it, what it signifies to me is hopefully we're buying into this identity. We have to win games, um, you know, defensively. Uh, I feel that our offense is going to get a lot better, uh, particularly in the second half of the season. Uh, but our foundation and our bread and butter has to be uh, on the defensive side of the floor, uh, committing to all the tough things. And I, I just like seeing it again, us putting our body in front of drives, uh, trying to take hits, um, and then the ball hitting the floor and, and, and us being first to the floor a lot more often than we were in the first few weeks of the season. Max, again, the threes didn't really fall, but what did you like about the way he still found a way to make an impact before he five assists? Yeah, um, I mean, on the back line of our, our defense, um, particularly the zone, he gives us a, a little bit more physicality uh, in rebounding. Um, he's a good blockout guy. Those are a lot of the nuances that, you know, the most fans won't necessarily notice, um, but he does those little things, you know, for our defense uh, that are helpful. He's always going to help space the floor for Tyler and Jimmy and Bam. He was able to do that tonight, but he knocked down a big one. You know, when we felt like we really needed a, a bucket, uh, he knocked one down. Uh, and and he's the great thing about Max is even if he misses some, he's not going to stop, you know, taking his shot. Okay, thank you. All righty.